a lot of patients with Parkinson's report that they have lost the sense of smell. And interestingly, they report that loss of sense of smell preceded the onset of the earliest modest symptoms of Parkinson's by years and years. The smell test is very straightforward. It's uh, 40 different smells. It's a scratch and sniff smell test, like the, the little stickers you used to have when you were a kid. Um, so it's 40 different smells. Um, there's one smell that you scratch off, and then once you smell it, you decide between four different options, and you circle one you think it's best. Comes in four different booklets, and takes about 20 minutes to uh, to complete. Very straightforward and uh, easy to administer at home. If we could identify these people at risk for Parkinson's who have not yet developed motor disability, we probably will be more successful in finding the effective intervention to prevent them from developing a motor disability. And that's where the study looking at connection between the loss of sense of smell and future risk of the development of Parkinson's comes.